Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of Combat Volume 1. This is the second printing. I already have a on the channel a unboxing I did a few years ago of Combat Volume 1, the first printing. This is the second printing. It's, it's this is really a second edition of Volume 1. Uh, there's enough changes that they did a second printing. I think some of the changes came in Volume 2. Uh, with graphic design and some of the counters and some errata corrections and things like that. And it just basically necessitated redesigning the entire game. So um, this is a this is a single player only game, which is really cool. Um, but let's just let's go ahead and crack the shrink and see what it looks like. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe. And click the bell. One ringy dingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I should mention this is you know, designed by Ross Mortel and from Compass Games. I don't think I didn't mention that before. So it's a very heavy box. Not a very thick box, but a very heavy box. So here is all the goodness that you get. So to start out, get a baggie of bags. And then we've got a white six sided and a black and a white. 10 sided. And if that's a 10, then white wins. And with a 5, I don't know what this one is. It's been a while since I played this too, but one thing I did I did make, uh, and they're available for free on Thingiverse, and I'll link to them below along with a place that you can get them uh, with some, some counter sleds that you'll definitely want to get for this to, to hold your unit and all their. Uh, uh, any markers that they have to carry with them because you want to drag them all over the map. All right, so we have two decks of cards. We have our German military and our rifle platoon. A nice little faux um, book uh, uh, government documentation cover on the card back. That's pretty neat. Okay, so the German cards, and these are going to be used to determine what the Germans do route rolls, things like that. And you're just going to draw these. They are pretty, pretty thick quality. Pretty decent. I would still sleeve them. I'm just, I've gotten really pretty. For games that are really good, I just want to sleeve them and just keep them protected. But uh, they, these would hold up pretty well to regular shuffling. So you get uh, a nice stack of these. Get the initiative that you'll draw for the AI. But like I said, this is a this is a uh, SPO single player only, so that's pretty cool, pretty darn cool. And then we've got these. You got your orders. I think they're they, these are multi-purpose. You know what happens? Damage, light wound, close combat, or close call, bad wound. KIA is probably in here somewhere. Enemy event, friendly event. Bad wound, bad, bad wound. So two decks of cards. And then we have the holiday catalog for 2022. So, a little promotional material there. And now we've got our maps. These are paper maps. Fortunately not mounted, but that would have driven up the cost and there are a lot of maps in here. So we're gonna look at those in just a second when we can unfold them. Now, this is the second printing scenario book. And they don't make this available online as a PDF, so I'm not gonna make it too, too visible. But it is a 64 page book. There's the end of turn, full color. I can tell already from the graphics on the, in the book, the map graphics have been greatly improved from the first one. I'll do a, at the end of this video, I'll pull out the first edition and we'll do a comparison of the maps too so you can see the difference. So, this is your scenario book, scenario four, sniper, let's just, we can look at the table of contents though, I don't want to give anything away. Uh, there are 10 scenarios, there's four introductory scenarios and there are, there are uh, 10 regular scenarios and the designer notes. It says, version 1.36, these rules have been updated as of September 26, 2021. Changes from the first printing are highlighted in red. So that's good. 
so that's good to know. Not seeing anything highlighted in red. Uh, I guess maybe that indicates it's highlighted in red. So that is your scenario book. And then we've got the rules of play book. And that's a lot thinner. It's 32 pages, has an index on the back, which is nice. This is on a glossy kind of stock, so it does reflect the light a little bit. But you can always download the rule book and print it out yourself into a more matte finish for easier reading. Hopefully that will keep this PDF updated uh, with any errata, so you can just download and uh, instead of having to apply corrections to this. But full color, divided into sections for, rule, for reference of rules. Your event cards, your order cards, your different commands that you can give to units. One thing I really liked about it is how in a given turn, like you'll see like suppressive fire, there's four phases in the turn, I believe, and, and they will operate. This is like suppressive fire has a one, 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 one. So it'll operate in every phase, whereas this one is zero, one, zero, one. So it will operate on phase two and phase four. It's a pretty neat little system. It's really a fun game. It really is actually really cool. It's unusual to be unboxing a second version where I know more about it than I than I normally do. So anyway, so full color rule book. Awesome. And then we've got a weapon guideline, a sequence of play uh, reference. It's it's double folded, but blank on the inside. Not sure what the not sure what the logic was on that. Instead of just making it a two-sided card, there's nothing here you put markers on. But uh, anyway, it contains the sequence of play, obviously, and then some notes on the different weapons that your units may have. Grease gun bar, 1911. U.S. hand grenades. Do we have German? Yeah, there's the German hand grenades. Steel hand grenade. Looks like the shaded ones are the German weapons. And then indirect fire support for U.S., U.S. or German. All right, so there's that. And you can always just keep it this way. I guess it's for your convenience if you want to take it out and lay it take up more space on the table, or you can just leave it like this and flip it over. And then we've got the order terrain chart. And this one is double-sided, still double-folded. But we have the order terrain chart and the spotting chart. And the armored fighting vehicle line of sight display. So this one has vehicles in it, or Volume 2 has vehicles in it, and they just added this information. Oh, yes, this chart is used for combat volume 1 and 2. I think, the, yeah, certain aspects such as vehicles only apply to volume 2. And then you got your control panel card here. And this is where you're going to assign cards to the different colored units. You've got, a, you've got yellow, white, red, and blue enemy squads. They'll draw their orders, and you get the enemy deck, the discard pile. So it's a little display map, very nice to have. Keep your table organized. Turn tracker, initiative, impulse, which impulse you're in. I said phases, but they're called impulses. Which turn you're on. Stacking overflow. Get too many in, in the hex, you can bring them into here. All right, and now we get to our counters. Take them out here. Oh, there. They are shrinked as well. All right, so here's counter sheet one. And we've got the Germans, obviously, and some of your your squads. You got brown and tan and green. And you got another one, black maybe? I'll have to find it. And they are in little strips, and you have to separate them. And you may want to corner around them with the Oregon Laminations 2.5 millimeter Deluxe Corner Rounder, the right tool for the job. We've got dummy markers. 
And then we've got, so you got your yellow German squads here, and then your blue and red, and it looks like we've got some civilians here. We've got Alex and Chris and Simone. Impulse Tracker. Uh, looks like maybe some dummy soldiers and some dummy civilians. Start of the white team up. I just wanted to pop right out though. They they feel they feel thin. Like when you pick up the sheet, the sheet feels kind of thin. But when you pop them out, the counters seem totally fine. So don't panic when you open it up. And it's it's just it's just the framing and how they're mounted. I think is giving it the little bend a little bit. So we got a sheet of markers, and they're just falling out. Look at that. So these are the orders you're going to give to your units. At the start of a turn, duck back, suppressive fire, grenade, evade, sneak, reload, medical aid, plan, and then different weapons, or markers, mortar, directionals. It's for close combat with the bayonet on there. And then another sheet of markers. Aimed fire, duck back, reload, suppressive fire. And then their, their posture, bold, cautious, route, normal. And that dictates what you can do, what actions you can take based on, you know, if you're routed or something like that. There's always so much you can do and they're clearly marked as to what modifiers get added to you or subtracted from you. And then sheet five. Box holes, light wounds, bad wounds, minefields, KIAs, smoke markers, rubble, grenades, gun emplacements. And sheet six, we have more orders. And they are, I believe, the same on both sides. Yeah. Where do they change? Let's see. Sprint. Six five, sprint five six. So they are slightly different on each side. But I do believe they keep everything together so that all six fives or five sixes on the other side. And they don't just mess them up. Alright. It'll mess you up by putting different things on the backs of the same marker. Keep it keep it organized. Alright, let's look at those maps or a representative of the maps. You get four of them? Yeah, you get four, and they're large. I don't want to show you everything about them. They're on thick, very thick coated paper. And they are, let's see, four panels by three. They're pretty large there. And the graphics are definitely improved from the first printing. I think we'll uh, we will do a comparison here. Okay, so I pulled out of my first printing. We've got map four here, the hedros. And here is the first printing, map four the hedgerows. So you can see it's definitely got a much stronger 3D look to it. Definitely more, definitely more attractive look. Um, one thing I think they did probably maybe, maybe did a little bit better was for instance here in hex 3.5, the terrain covers the whole hex so it's very clear. And here I assume there's a rule where the dot covers it so this is all considered uh, field, but uh, graphically it looks it looks much better. It's just you know if you're used to that, that's fine. So I'm flipping it over, and so there's a side by side of version one, version two, or printing one, printing two, of version one, volume one. So that is that one. We'll do one more, three, the village, and the first printing. So definitely a much a much more artistic presentation. This is still functional, 
still works. I didn't I didn't mind these all that much at all when the game was first out. So and there's the other side. So let's look at the rocky terrain. So there's the rocky terrain in volume, in the second printing, and there was the rocky terrain in the hill in the first printing. So definitely a definitely definitely a, an improvement. That you can see, and I did check the counters uh, in the uh, first edition, and they were, in fact, uh, that was right. There's three. There's three. Uh, Abel Baker Charlie. Abel Baker Charlie. All right. Map to the hill. See the hill. I'm not gonna open up all the way, but uh, you get an idea of how good the graphics are on this one. And map one, the farmhouse. Now let's see if we can find the farmhouse in here. I guess the farmhouse is just kind of tiny. So, all right. There's the other side. The trees are all like individual trees, 3D, top-down, drone view. All right. So if you pick up a copy of Combat Volume 1, second printing, second edition, you're going to get those four large size, beautiful graphic maps. You're going to get six, I believe we counted them, sheets of counters, counters and markers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, and they just want them to come right out, which is, makes it nice for punching. Get in there. And then you're going to get the, the turn tracking board, the display mat for holding the cards. You're going to get a reference for volume one and volume two spotting as well as terrain you're going to get a sequence of play weapons reference card which is single only single-sided the reprinted second printing volume one rules of play and that was a 32 page rule book and then the scenario book with four introductory scenarios 10 full scenarios at 64 pages. The two decks of cards, one's for the German AI, one's for orders for your squads and events. A bag of baggies to help you get organized. Some promotional material from Compass Games, which will probably be updated as it gets longer. And three dice. And the Germans won that time, if the Germans are black. And that's 10, I don't know. And that is everything that you get inside of Combat, second printing of volume one from Compass Games, designed by Ross Martell. Thank you so much for, Mortell, designed by Ross Mortell. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you, bye-bye. Oh.